All right, I'm going to make some calculations and uh, you get to look over my shoulder using my rules for figuring out a chasing dial, which is threads per inch you want to cut over the lead screw, threads per inch, you reduce the fraction, put the denominator over the teeth on the chase dial. I'll solve for 12 threads first. We're going to use the outlaw Chinese lathe. Now, before we saw that it was two inches for a complete revolution of the dial. The lathe has an eight pitch lead screw. So two inches, uh, um, eight goes into two inches 16 times. So there's 16 teeth on that dial. It should have 32 to be right, but I'm going to live with it because I'm not going to cut quarter threads. So I will put my 12 on the top. That's the threads I'm cutting. My lead screw is eight. Goes on the bottom. That reduces, this is two times two times three, two times two times two. So this will reduce down to three over two. I'll take the two and this is sixteen. That's the teeth on my threading dial. Just put thread down. Two sixteenths, that's one eighth of a revolution of the dial. It's divided eight times, so I can go in on any line, or I can go in any between any line, but whatever I choose, I gotta stay there. Then we'll solve for eight over eight. eight pitch screws over eight. Obviously that goes to one over one and that goes to one sixteenth revolution of the dial. Then we're going to throw in a place where this dial will get you in trouble where the four inch dial won't. That's fourteen Or eight, and that reduces down to seven over two. Uh, uh seven over four. That could have been a problem. The four goes on the top of the sixteen, four sixteenths, and that would be this is one sixteenth of a revolution of a dial, and this would be one quarter. That means I can lock in on one, two, three, or four, or I can lock in on the non-number lines, but whatever I lock into I have to stay that way, either a numbered line or a non-numbered line. We'll go ahead and do, uh, what have I got up here? I got. Big, big five eighths eleven. We're going to go eleven over eight. That doesn't reduce. So we take the eight, put it over sixteen. That reduces to one half or one inch on that dial which is, means I can use either one and three or two and four. I better not fool with the non-numbered lines unless I mark them. But it, I've got to lock in every one half turn of the dial to chase my thread once I've started cutting. And we've got an eleven and a half here. I'm going to try to see if I can get it in. What's going to happen is I'm going to have to come back here with a saddle and lock in and chase it up. Uh, and then I'll probably turn the machine on and show that you've got to go to the same number and, and if you don't, well of course it'll be wrong. So this is eleven and a half, but you need to see how you do this with half and quarter threads. Over eight, what I've got to do with this is make it a, a, a whole fraction. So eleven and a half uh, times two 
would be 22-23 over 16. Because when you double, you got to double. I take the 16, I move it over on top of the 16 over 16. It means I've got to lock in on the same number for every revolution. One. Oh, my chalk keeps coming out of that one. We're slipping back. Don't you just hate it? So with a 12 thread, I got to go into every eighth of an inch or eighth of a division or every line. Eight thread or 16 thread or 24 thread. Any multiple eight is going to go in uh, every sixteenth. You can't get out of that's the one you can't get out of registration. So eight, sixteen, twenty-four, um, and just keep multiplying eight. And when you find it, every sixteenth it'll work. This is another one that's good to, to keep track of. Half of this one will go in on on. Uh, uh, basically, every two sixteenths or one eighth, which will means you can go on every line. So if you find something that divides by four, anything that divides by four, but fourteen won't divide by four. Anything that divides by four, you can use one eighth. So we'll get the GoPro charged, put it up, and uh, prove it. Well, my calculation indicates I can lock in on any and all of the eight lines on my dial and be in registration. Okay, I'm going to go back on my dial. The ways. Lock it in on uh, just, there's two. Okay, I'm going to come in. I'm chasing the thread. I'm going to take it back and put it on a half number or just a line with no number. And I'm going to put it back in. Well, that's me. But uh, watching a lot of things at the same time. We pick the number two, which is a divided line. Got a number on it. And I'm in. Number three. And I'm in. Number one. So as long as I stay on the uh, divided lines, I'm good to go. For eight threads per inch, the calculation shows I can close a half nuts anywhere. Well, that's cool. We have to adjust. We gotta adjust just a little bit. That's close, and I'm on 80. Now this one should lock in everywhere. There's the next division I've got. That's between lines. So this will lock in basically in all 16 places in the dial. You just can't get it wrong. If you can lock your, lead, or your half nuts in, you're good to go. And of course I should prove I'm chasing it. I'm just pulling it. But I'm on one, so if I unlock it, and I take it to the number four, that's just a half inch away, 
on the same leaf. It can't get away from it. And we'll start it up. Unlock that first. And then get my revolution. There we go. Put it here. I said put it here. Now number four. There I go. Put it between lines. There I go. Put it on another number line. Those are the easy tricks. For 14 threads, I can close on the number lines with this outlaw dial. That's uh, four places, one half inch and saddle travel length apart. This one, since it was four over 16, I've got to go every quarter revolution. So all I can go in on is one, two, three, or four on my dial. There's one. Back it out. We'll go to four. And four will come in on a two, a half inch away. Gotta get my lash out. And it should come in about there. We did. We'll back up to two. It's in there. Now if I'd have gone with a rule that I'm used to. Oh man, I split a thread. This of course works too. So if I'm chasing, I'm on two. Just put it in gear. Take it out of there. Gotta lock it in on a number. Gotta roll this around to. You can hear it stick in the bottom of the thread. Maybe I better put that. Then I take it out. I put it in one. In the bottom of the thread. That dial's not moving all that fast because it's fairly fine thread. We'll just pick it up on two. Come back in. So that was the solution for 14. For 11 threads, it's 8 over 16 or one half revolution of the dial. That means either the one and three or two and four lines. Okay, have to take it out. Turn the machine on. That was on one, so we'll go over and put it in on... Well, I just went past it. We got the motorboat, motorboat go so slow because I gotta have one or three. And then I'm gonna turn around 80. And of course it comes right in on the thread. Come back now. Put it back on the one. Put it back in the. And I don't have a four and a half, so I can't do that. 
but it works. You use that fraction where you take threads you want to cut over top of the pitch of the lead screw, reduce the fraction, take the bottom of that fraction, put it on top of the number of teeth in your threading dial, and it will tell you the revolutions uh, of that threading dial that you can lock the nuts in. And you're good to go. Have a good day.